Hey ladies, we're going to embrace those midlife changes that happen to our bodies as we go through this hormonal transformation. My name is Tracy Montgomery and I talk about all things menopause, midlife and all the that comes with it. So let's talk about what happens to our body and what we can do to transition, transform ourselves the way that we think, the way we feel about ourselves during this tumultuous, because it can be, and transitioning time. So that's the first thing we need to know. We need to acknowledge that something's going to happen. There's going to be a shift. We are going to change. As we age, we are going to change. Our bodies, our bodies start to wear out a little bit. Our hormones are going to change. So as we reach this menopausal transformation, our hormones are going to affect our physicality and our mental state as well. So physically, we are going to lose hormones. They're going to affect how our body behaves, how it adapts, how it changes. So we need to acknowledge that something is going to actually happen. We need to be aware that something is going to happen. And we need to take on board that our bodies aren't going to be the same as they were when we were 21. We are going to have those laughter lines. We're going to have that graying hair. We're going to have, yeah, that extra bit. It can happen. So what we need to make sure is that we prioritise self-care at this stage. Now, as women, we are absolutely crap at our own self-care. Let's be honest, we're not here to care for ourselves. We're here to care for everybody else. So when we reach this menopausal transformation and our nurture hormones are doing one, our brain's not quite sure what to do. Our priority should always be to look after ourselves. If we can look after ourselves, we can look after those around us. So let's make sure that within our routines, daily routines, weekly routines, monthly routines, that we are adding in self-care for ourselves, definitely for ourselves. Make sure that we are moving. You know, we can get a little bit tired at this stage of life. And that can be because of our hormones, but we also need to make sure that we need to move, but move within our limits. So I'm not expecting you, if you don't want to, to become a gym bunny. For this from my mind, there's no way I'm going to the gym. Can't stand it. Never wanted to go when I was in my 20s. Not going to start going now in my 50s. It's not happening. But there are things that I am prepared to do. I'm prepared to walk. I'm prepared to do a little bit of yoga. I've done that before. I will admit that at this stage, some of us take a little bit longer to get ready. We take a little bit longer to get ourselves moving, but we need to move within our own limits. Now, good things are you walking. Things like yoga, because it stretches and it moves all parts of you. But, but let's make sure we allow time for us to do this. Now, also remember that we can wear what the work we want. It doesn't have to conform with what everybody else is wearing in their 40s and 50s. Who gives a damn? Wear what you want. Make sure it's comfortable and it makes you feel good about you. Now, I'm not saying that you have to follow all the trends that all the teenagers and all those in their 20s are following, but whatever it is, whatever you want to wear, it needs to be you. Just do you. There are certain things, and we can talk about those in other um, elements and sections where we talk about things that can make you feel and look better about you. They help to boost your confidence. If you feel good in what you're wearing, you're going to be more confident. Make sure as we go through this stage, we are all changing, that we are keeping our connections. Don't segregate yourself. Don't think, oh, they've got their shit together. Why would they want to hang out with me? You don't know unless you ask. You don't know what shit they're going through as well. Keep the connections. Make sure you've got the connections. Talk to people. And that can be through your friends. You can make new connections. You can come and join us. You can expand and move into different avenues.
And remember, you've been on this planet a while. So you've built up a little bit of stock of that knowledge. You've got your own personal library. So use it. Look back on what you've done and look forward to what you want to do. There's no reason that you can't start new ventures, new experiences. If it's something you've dreamed of doing, then do it. Don't conform to what every other person around you does when they get to a certain age. So, just remember, midlife is a transformational stage, but it's also a stage of empowerment and enlightenment. You are going to be changing and it's not going to happen tomorrow. It's going to be a gradual change. You're going to see and feel differently the side is just different the way that you can feel comfortable and confident about yourself and if you want more tips then come and join us over at menopause midlife and all the you know what it is so hope you've enjoyed and i will talk to you soon bye for now